now i'm baby free for the next few in the gap <laughs> so i have a youtube event today it's my very first youtube event and i almost didn't want to go i've actually been looking forward to it for like the longest time it's like a graduation ceremony party for the youtube made for you program i passed i was happy i passed now i've been looking forward to this graduation for the longest time but it now came now, I'm like, I pick. I was telling my husband yesterday that maybe I don't need to go. <laughs> my husband like, but you are the one that has been saying you can't wait to attend a YouTube event because it's always very mad. And now you have an opportunity to attend one and you're saying you don't want to go. I'm like, I pick, I pick. <laughs> and it's just the principle of life that shows that you think you can't live without it because you don't have it. When you have it, you're like, ah, oh, okay. Did you guys, did this thing ever happen to you? Like, you crush on somebody from afar. Like, this person is your crush. Your crush is your dream person. Your dream man. Then, maybe one day, you have the opportunity to just talk to them. And that crush just dies. <laughs> Hold on. You have the opportunity to talk to them. And that crush just dies. You're just like, okay, so why exactly have I been crushing on this person? It's not all that. And it just dies immediately. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> well, that is what is happening to me now. But anyway, my husband insisted that I go. I wanted to go make my hair. I'm, I'm sure that you guys are tired of me talking about my hair. I was going to go make it yesterday, but then I got tired. And I'm like, okay, I'll just wear a wig. That's fine. Like, I'll wear a wig and keep it moving. Thank God. I even started taking out my cornrows. But thank God I didn't, I didn't, see, it, I didn't see it through. I didn't, I didn't take everything out. Oh, yeah. I didn't take everything out, so I can still wear a wig, but I cannot show you the state of these cornrows. They are a mess, a mess. <laughs> anyway, so I'll just um get ready. The event is by six. It's currently three o'clock. I have so many things to do. I have to style my hair. I have to do my makeup. I have to do my nails if I can. And yeah, then I'll go because my husband is supposed to take me but if if he's going to take me that means i have to go earlier i have to leave like an hour before the program starts because now my husband has a program by six o'clock he has a commitment by six o'clock that nothing can shake in this life so because of that i'll just take uber to go and he'll come pick me it's six to ten so he'll come pick me by ten o'clock after the program or after the event i don't know what i'm saying program <laughs> After the events, that's how you know that I'm a mommy Joe. All right, guys, let's get ready. I don't know if I'll be able to take you guys through all the process of getting ready. So maybe the next time you see me is when I am leaving, okay? When I'm all glammed up like a babe, because I'm definitely going to look like a babe. I promise you. <laughs> Bye, guys. So, guys, I'm ready. I'm waiting for my Uber. Oh, shh. Can you guys see the material? Can you see the material? Straight second floor. I'm willing to try. Mama, Thank you. Don't bat it up. Okay. Can I 
Thank you. Very, very nice. Help me. Just help me hold it like this. Okay, I didn't wait. So when I take off my makeup, I want to tell you guys what happened all through today. So earlier today, we dropped Juba with uh, our friends. My pastor, actually, our pastor, our national pastor, yeah, his wife. <coughs> so they have three boys. I'm very comfortable with even Juba with, you know, with them because they have three boys. <laughs> Three, <laughs> three strong boys, and if anybody can take care of boys, 
it is my pastor's wife because ish, this is difficult. Ah, this is painful. I feel like my lashes are gonna come off. My own original lashes. Yay! Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Ah, my lashes came. They came off. Oh, shh. Ah, that's not good. So I'm very comfortable with Vinjuba with her because she has done it three times. Me, what do I know? <laughs> and obviously because, yeah. I just trust that Juba is in good hands when he's there. It's like the third time he's going there. They love him. Like they are always, our boys are always asking, Oh, will Juba come? Can Juba come and spend the weekend? <laughs> I'm like, say no more. <laughs> I'm gonna bring him. So yeah, then yeah, that happened. And because I had this event, I didn't make my, I wanted to make myself feel good in some kind of way. So I bought, I went to the store to get new clothes. So my husband dropped me at the mall. Guys, I really need to learn how to drive. Like, for real, for real, for real. So my husband dropped me at the mall after we dropped Chuba and he left. So I took his because he's been holding my card. Okay, so this, the gist is long. I'm in charge of groceries this month. So everything we are buying in grocery is coming from my account. Like my husband is not spending any excess money on grocery. So some because most of the time I'm not able to go out, or it's my husband that's going out. So he has my card because I'm always saying buy this thing, buy that thing. So he has my card. So I took his wallet, the of his wallet, and okay, I'm supposed to be cleaning my makeup. So this is baby oil that I'm using to just take off the makeup to break it down. So I took the of his wallet instead of you know bringing on my card, and because I was going to use. Um, I was going to go to pick and pay or check out. I didn't know which one I was going to go to, and I was going to use the reward cards. So I didn't want to bring in, I didn't want to be bringing out the cards one after the other. So I just took the of his wallet and I put it in my pocket. So I just had my phone and his wallet. What else did I have? And shopping bags, which also could take my wallet. I mean, could take my pocket. I could fit it in my pocket, and that's how I was going. I entered the first shopping mall. I'm sorry, the first store, I think it was legit. Um, yeah, legit. I can't remember. I don't even know the name. That's a lot of people. So I entered the first um, legit. Yeah, I think it's legit. The first one. And to just see what they had. Because I was either going to get something from either legit or um, for Shimi or Edgar's. Those are my go to most of the time if I'm not buying online and I saw two-piece I saw a beige two-piece and a green two-piece I'm like hmm I don't want to get beige beige or green green so I, I thought I could mix them so that's what I did I just checked the prices I saw that it was within budget and I'm like okay let me just go and check other things and one thing about me is that once I see something that I like no matter what it has to be extraordinary. The next thing I'll see has to be extraordinary before I can remove my mind from the first thing. So, and that thing happened in Foshini. The other thing I liked in Foshini was like way out of my budget and it was color red. I'm like, okay, let me just go back. To, I went to Edgar's, I didn't say anything. So I'm like, let me just go back to Foshini. So let me just go back to Legit. So I got the two piece, separate two piece in Legit. And I was hungry, I have not had food like all day. I went to eat sausage. Then I went to buy groceries at Pick and Pay. Then I ordered Uber. That brought me home. My phone, my wallet was in my pocket. Tell me why I go home, everything was fine. My husband was still saying, Oh, if you finish early, I can still drop you. Uh, but I didn't want to like rush. I'm like, Don't worry, I'm just going to take Uber and go. Then you can come pick me up so I don't put you under pressure and I don't put myself under pressure. That's how some minutes later my cell phone rang. I was having a conversation, I'm like, ah, 
What's happened? That's how she just said, let me ask my wife. And I said, babe, did you forget my wallet in the Uber you took? Huh? That's how I said, let me check. <laughs> That's how I did not find wallet in the in my uh, pants. I was so mad at myself. I was so mad. The person she had said that, oh, that she's not around um, now. Like she's at work. When she gets home, she's going to send my husband a location. And my husband can come get the wallet. Like everything is in there. Like my card, his cards, his driver's license. Like everything. You guys can already tell it was just really cold from there. Like it was so cold. Even me, I was mad at myself. So I didn't even blame him for being mad at me. So apparently, when I was coming down from the Uber, the wallet dropped like in my compound, in my house. The wallet dropped on the chair and the next passenger found it. <sighs> I like, I didn't even know what to do. I was just like tiptoeing. <laughs> I was just saying, I'm so sorry. I said sorry like 100 times. <laughs> when I was now leaving, I still said, Oh, I'm so sorry. And I said, Yeah, that's the problem. It's always sorry that ends all of this kind of situation, but you're sorry you cannot do anything. <laughs> you know, my husband is very practical, very logical. He does not put emotion in anything. <laughs> I'm like, Well, I can still offer you only sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the lady was so pleasant. He got the wallet, and yeah, everything was fine from there. It's like calling me. <laughs> This was restored to the world. Anyway, so I'm using my cellar water now. I'm still not going to cleanse my face. I just tried to get most of the makeup out before I cleanse. And I will just moisturize after that. Yeah, that was the story of my life to today. I just thank God that. The right person got the wallet. Watch me through the rest of my routine. I'm going it tonight. So I'm going in with this. The face should be clean. So I go in with toner. Guys, I feel with my phone, so there is really no adjustment that I can do in terms of lighting. I enjoy watching this kind of vlogs, so that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> like I enjoy people just winding down their day. I enjoy watching people wind down their wind down their day. I don't know why I can't speak English. I can see my nails. I fixed them this afternoon. I told you I was going to laugh. See, clean. The next thing I want to get now is the nail dryer because I feel like the old school method of drying your nails, putting them in front of the fan or just leaving them to dry, to air dry, it's a cake. <laughs> so I need to get air dryer. The next time I go to China, I'm going to do that. And, you know, just restock on my nails, all the things I use for my nails. These nails, like the acrylic, if that is what it's called, are the ones I brought in 2021 when I was coming. Like <laughs> three years, I still have them. So you can imagine how many I bought, even though I, don't you know do my nails all the time i only get my nails professionally done when i have events if it's my birthday i have a photo shoot i'm going somewhere again, again. that's the only time i pay 350 400 rounds to get my nails done otherwise i'm gonna do them myself i do them myself so the next time i go to china i apologize about the lighting the lighting of this place So next time I go to China more, I'm just going to buy all of that and I'm good to go. Good to go. Good night guys. Love you.